On Tuesday, the Japanese government said it expected it would have to look at the international monitoring of radioactive fish products following the discovery of a tainted tuna caught off the coast of Southern California, but first needed more information. Low levels of nuclear radiation from the tsunami-damaged Fukushima power plant have turned up in bluefin tuna off the California coast, suggesting that these fish carried radioactive compounds across the Pacific Ocean faster than wind or water can. Japan's chief cabinet secretary said the government still needs more information on this issue. We haven't really got hold of the research paper on this migrant tuna fish off the southern coast of California yet. We expect that we will have to deal with the issue of monitoring international fish product supplies, but we will need to gather more information before looking at how to deal with this issue. Scientists reported on Monday small amounts of cesium-137 and cesium-134 were detected in 15 tuna caught near San Diego in August 2011, about four months after these chemicals were released into the water off Japan's east coast. As far as domestic fish products are concerned, the Ministry of Fisheries has reached out to not only Fukushima Prefecture, but to the relevant associations and fisheries cooperatives and has set up a monitoring system, and from this year they are planning to start research and monitor movements of radioactive material from the seawater and from the ocean floor to fish products. Japan said it will continue the research and monitor the effects of the radioactive material released into the ocean found around Fukushima since the March 11, 2011 tsunami that crippled and caused a meltdown at the reactors owned by Tokyo Electric Company. Researchers said in a study published in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences that the amount of radioactive cesium found in the fish off California isn't thought to be damaging to people if consumed, but the findings are expected to cause a stir amongst sushi aficionados around the world. Judging by the size of the bluefin tuna the U.S. scientists sampled, the researchers knew these were young fish and had left Japanese water about a month after the accident. Most of the radiation was released over a few days in April 2011. And unlike some other compounds, radioactive cesium doesn't quickly sink to the sea bottom, but remains dispersed in the water column from the surface to the ocean floor. Jessica Minton, IB Times TV.